In a SOLIDWORKS drawing file, it's really simple to convert any of your linear dimensions from one unit to another. But the same doesn't hold true for when you're trying to convert the note that specifies the mass of the model. Now, the reason for this is that that note is actually linked to a custom property from back in the model file. And so it will only show the value based on what was written to it in that file. So in this instance, we see that our originating assembly was in millimeters and grams. And so the mass value is actually showing in grams. Now, we can't directly change that value from the drawing. We need to make a modification here at the assembly level. So to do that, we're going to use some equations. So go to Tools and down to Equations. And we're going to create a new global variable. So we'll just type in a new global variable name. We'll just give it something simple to explain what it is. So weight and kg. And now under value, we'll select under the file properties. We could select from weight, but we'll grab the actual SW mass. And we'll add a little bit of an equation here. So we're going to divide that value by 1,000 to get what it should be in kilograms. Now you can do the same thing to convert to pounds, to stone, whatever weight you, uh, unit you want to use. Now we're not done yet. We now need to go in and create a new custom property that maps to that global variable. Now we can't use the same name that we use for the global variable because the system won't accept that. So instead we need to make a slight alteration. So instead we're going to call this weight space in kg. This way the syntax isn't identical to our global variable and it'll accept that. Now this is fairly simple um, because this is a global variable we can just copy that uh, SW mass value. It's the same kind of idea here so we're going to be typing in weight in kg what we used in our uh, global variable at and then our model file name and it's going to bring in that value and we'll hit OK. Now again if I wanted to do this for pounds I just repeat the exact same procedure. Now we'll go back to our drawing here and we're going to just link the value in our note to that custom property. So if we go and add another line here and go over to link to value. So we'll just select a custom property from our assembly file here and we see that that new custom property is available in the list and we can just populate it into the note.